Welcome back and let's discuss the Boston Tea Party. Specifically, let's look at what caused the event and then the event itself. And after the effects, both short and long term, which is why the Boston Tea Party is being called a pivotal event in US history. So first, it's important to understand what led to the Boston Tea Party. Well, in 1770, Britain finally repealed the Unpopular Townsend Acts, hence removing all taxes on all goods except for one, tea. And as a result, the Tea Act was introduced in 1773. The tax itself was a small 3P tax to help the East India Company stay afloat, but it was also used to show authority from Britain onto the colonies and quench the revolution. And the the colonists chanted no taxation without representation because they felt the tax was unfair and trying to control the people of Boston and America. So as a result, the Sons of Liberty met and they met together led by Samuel Adams who had come to be a founding father. They dressed up as Native Americans and boarded the ships from Britain chucking out over 300 crates of tea into the ocean which had a lot of economic damage and this was called the Boston Tea Party. The event and its significance can be seen by what John Adams wrote in his diary. This is the most magnificent event of all, sorry, movement of all. The destruction of tea is so bold, so daring, so firm, intricate, and flexible, and it must have so important consequences, and so lasting that I cannot but consider it as an epoch in history. Now that we've seen the, the event itself, let's discuss the effects. It's important to understand that the Boston Tea Party began a chain of events, each were, and each event it, it triggered had its own significance. So firstly, Britain, right after the Tea Party, sent in 4,000 troops to lock down the Boston Harbor until the tea was paid for, hence suppressing freedom. And this followed with the Intolerable Act in 1774, which essentially poisoned Boston as described by some historians. The acts included the Boston Port Act, the Massachusetts Government Act, the Quartering Act, the Administration of Justice Act, and the Quebec Act. And this essentially put Boston under a dictatorial-like rule under Thomas Gage. However, the, the, these acts had a unintended side effect, which was that it led to a rising cooperation between colonies in America. The colonists recognized the British oppression and opposed it, and they became more determined to defend their liberty. The colonies began to work together and they began to share aid. And this was an action that made them more united as they worked together to oppose their common enemy, Britain. Next, we have the Continental Congress, which was in response to the Intolerable Acts and brought together all the colonies um, that were set in what is today the United States. They came together under one roof to discuss action, all except for Georgia. Sorry, Georgia. They all decided on united action like boycotts, and the Congress is arguably America's first colony-wide government. The idea is important because this would come to be the founding of, of America, and this rather of them can be seen when Patrick Henry said, I am not a Virginian, but an American, showing this nationalistic feeling from the Congress. So the Boston Tea Party led to the Intolerable Acts, which then led to the First Continental Congress, and this altogether rose feelings of unity which led to making the U.S. that we know today because the event itself all rose patriot patriotism against Britain and this lit the flame of the revolution itself. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.